What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. We had a great tuna trip recently, so now as the East End Angler Way likes to do, we have a cash and cook. We have our sauce mixture here with a little soy sauce, chopped up ginger, some scallions, then we're gonna add some sesame oil to it. And uh, recipe I like to use calls for two tablespoons. We're probably gonna do maybe a little less than that and then add some more to taste. So that's one, maybe one and a half for now. All right, next up we have two tablespoons of rice vinegar. And uh, as you know, Will and I take a lot of pride in our cooking skills. Actually, you know what we're gonna do here? Take this lid off. I think it'll make our job a little bit more efficient. You know, I would not call myself a Michelin star chef, but I'd say it's pretty damn close. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. And then our last step is honey. We have two tablespoons of honey in there. It gives it a nice little sweetness, complements the ginger. And this is kind of just eyeballing. Um, it's kind of a pain to get the uh, tablespoon measure clean after all that honey. And then we're gonna whisk it. It should be right here. Okay, so next step here, we have our base layer prep. So the tartare is gonna have a cucumber and cilantro and diced avocado base and mix it up with lime juice. So the avocado is chopped here. We're gonna start to chop this cucumber, throw it in the bowl, mix it together with the other ingredients, and um, we'll see how that goes. And you know, I'm under a lot of pressure here. I have my grandpa heckling me at every step, so we'll see, uh, hopefully I can impress him with this recipe. Okay, next step. We're gonna put our diced cilantro in this bowl with our diced cucumber and our diced avocado. Then we're gonna do a couple tablespoons of lime juice. That's one, and that's two. And then we're gonna mix this up and then move on to our uh, tartare itself, the meat base, so stay tuned. Okay, next step, we're gonna get our tuna out of the vacuum sealer. This was caught on uh, July 15th. That was like dating the fish, you know when it's from. Good prep for six months with this vacuum sealer. So we cut this open, get our tuna out, and let our juices flow out so it doesn't make too big a mess. Just like that, rinse these off a little. And then we're gonna cut out these dark red bloodlines here. Because these parts taste really fishy. It's from when the uh, fish is fighting really hard, the muscle kind of burns out, it literally cooks itself. So this is very fishy, so we're gonna cut this out. And then after that, we're gonna dice everything up, so stay tuned. Okay, so we cut out these red parts, as you can see in here. That's all that fishy, gross part I talked about. And so now I kind of quarter these, these uh, loins here to make it a little bit more manageable when I dice it. And as you can see here, that's what you like to see. Nice pinkish red, fresh tuna. Caught not bought, as we like to say on East End Angler, the best quality as always. So I gotta impress the grandparents and the parents. You know, a lot of pressure, but we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so step number four here. We have our tuna diced up. It took about 15 to 20 minutes. So that's, I'd say, the longest part of this process. So we're putting this in our soy sauce, sesame oil, rice vinegar, sesame seed, and green onion mixture. We're putting that all in there. And then we're gonna mix it up. That'll be our top layer for the tartare, the kind of staple tuna part. And we have our cucumber, um, Avocado base. I think I should be a protein shake. I'm gonna mix it up. Get the mixture all mixed up in there. Get the juices combined from the tuna and the mixture. Now, sometimes it's not enough. If you have a lot of tuna like us, you don't know what to do with it. So you make it all in one recipe. Sometimes you have to add more sauce. This is looking perfect to me though. Maybe a couple more sesame seeds, but I think this should be nice and okay. Sesame seeds. Another round of mixing. Now the key to cooking from what I found in my Michelin days. So as tasting as you go. If you want to be sanitary, you have another spoon. We're fishermen, we don't care. Mm. Mm. That's really good. I gotta say, I've made this countless times. This is top five. This is, this is really good. The key is getting that ginger to soy sauce to honey ratio really really down because the ginger gets are nice and way too strong and honey too sweet so you want to get just right and this is bad so we like to be a little fancy here at Easton Angler so we're putting our avocado lime cucumber base down in this mold just make sure it's nice and even and then we're going to put the tuna on there up top just like 
that. Clean out the juices a little bit. Does it make a mess? And that's gonna be one. One of them just like that. Beautiful. Okay, that's one. Okay, so as you saw, we used our mold. And this is really where it becomes uh, average fisherman to Michelin meal, I would say. You got your nice base layers and a little sesame for garnish. And the real flavors come through when you obviously taste it, so that'll be the real judge of my chefing skills, but we'll see how it is. All right, so this is the uh, Michelin chef's work right here. We, uh, we have the proper presentation, the very uh, five-star gourmet presentation right there. We had some extra, so we just laid it out here with some uh, tortilla chips. See how the family likes it, see if all my hard work paid off. So our proper presentation here, and our extra presentation here. And this one's great, we have the sesame seeds right there. Um, this one needs a little bit of this. Some white sesame seeds. So garnish is really the key about how you make it really fancy. I mean, this could be Kraft mac and cheese, but you put a little sesame on it, or you put a little cilantro on it, green onion, whatever it is to spice it up and make it look better. It impresses everyone every time, trust me. But now the real impressive part is to see what everyone thinks about the taste. Okay, we have the parents and the grandparents and Daniel all trying the chicken tartar. How is it? How many Michelin stars? Like nine out of five. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is the best I've ever. It is so good. Really? And we're not just He's saying a top it. Critic. It really is fabulous. We're not just saying it. Okay, so everyone tried the tartare. I gotta try it for myself, of course. It's delicious. I love it. Okay, that came out well. Very impressed. Everyone else here is luckily as well. Thanks for tuning in. Click that like button. Click subscribe. Get it out there. Let us know what you want to see, what you want us to do. You want more meals like this? Who doesn't? So stay tuned, and we'll catch you soon. Tight lines.